my crafty friends and welcome back to my channel today I wanted to show you what I had promised that I would make more cards with the farmhouse market kit in the last videos the 10 cards one kit I forgot to use my stickers and chipboard accents and so I wanted to remedy that so let's get started Okay, here's what I used. The, the puffy stickers, the stamp set, chipboard accents, and the sticker sheet. I used four different sketches. This is the first one. Operation Ride Home number 37. It's got the dimensions laid out for you and what I did was I used these numbers for the matting and then I cut the paper a quarter inch below that and and I matted I went ahead and matted the five and a quarter by four and as usual I made my own card bases out of 100 pound white cardstock so here's the first three cards Oh, happy day. I matted these two and I left the pink one unmatted and then I added the chipboard accents. And same here, I matted these two but left the pink alone. Chipboard accents, stickers, and again, matte, matte, no matte. And I popped this up on foam tape. My second sketch is Mojo Monday, number 480. And I did make dimensions here. It's in pencil. It's hard to read. Um, five and a quarter by four to mat the card itself. Three by three square here. One inch on the back. And then two and a half by three and a half mat with the paper being a quarter of an inch smaller. And then the two inch circle. I went ahead and stamped using this big floral here. It was perfect for the two inch square. And I put it on its side so that the beautiful would, would go. In. So there's that one. And as you can see, the, the inch piece is back here and I trimmed off the sides. And then it, I didn't mat these two pieces. And then the same with this one. I didn't I didn't mat because this was already there. And then I colored this, and this is a quote by Laura Ingalls Wilder. And so I put that on there. And then last for this sketch is another color. I made this a little bit to turquoise because it didn't match very well with the other colors in the card. And these are popped up on foam tape. Okay, there's that sketch. And now for this sketch, I wrote all over it. This is Mojo Monday 459. It used just strips. So I matted first. I matted all, all three pieces. So one and a quarter by five and a half. And then the pattern pieces were one by five and a quarter. And I used either ephemera or paper. And I used a flag on a couple of them. And then the optional mat for the center piece is two and three quarters by three and three quarters. But I, I used ephemera. So here's the first one. Oh, happy day in the stamp set. I matted all three pieces. And I how I centered the drawers, the filing cabinets, was I just trimmed off one edge without measuring and just to give it, just to kind of eyeball it. And then I put it at the one inch mark. And that made 
that gave me a nice centered look. This was popped up on foam tape and then the two itty bitty chipboard accents and of course my Nubo drops. And here's another one with, with that it's a library card catalog I believe. And then this is a piece of ephemera. Thanks. This was with my um, Versifying Claire Nocturne Ink. And then this one. Because this is a sentiment, I didn't put anything else on here. So this is just these three strips. And then sentiment piece popped up on foam tape. And my Duck Egg Blue Nouveau Drops. And last but not least, we have Operation Right Home, Sketch 154. And this piece right here, I did, these are one and a quarter. Normally it's one and a half. And then this piece right here, the big square is three and a half by three and a half. But because I was able to cut these down... Cut the inside, and they were exactly one and a quarter by one and a quarter. And so this is three and a quarters. And this is a sticker. And then I used, this was a piece off the sticker sheet also. And then I found, this is a, a die cut I had in my stash. And it matched perfectly. Now this one, I just used four different pieces, and then and this is the regular one and a half by one and a half, and then I put a big flower sticker, happy day, and then I used some bottled green Nouveau drops. And then last but not least, I did use the uh, card catalog brown for the base mat and then again I used I do two different plaids and then I used a sticker happy day a sticker and then my new Nuvo drops um, shimmering rose all right so those are all the cards that I made with this with these sketches and I was able to use a lot of my stickers, my chipboard, and this is how much scraps I have left, including the matting. So I have, there's plenty of cards in here. <laughs> so thank you for joining me, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.